All right, what is good, my niggas on the watch? It's your boy TMSA back at again with another video. Uh, since you guys kept asking for this tutorial, I guess I'm gonna show you guys what apps I use in order for me to make my thumbnails, my banners, and my video overlays. If you guys want me to make you a banner, just comment down below. I'll make one for free, but I usually charge people a dollar. PayPal. That's not hard to pay. I know everybody got a dollar. Everybody got a dollar. I know everybody got a dollar. Um, I'll choose one person randomly to make them a fucking banner. I'm not doing a video overlay for free period because those are hard to make, especially the 3D ones in which I will be making is a 3D video overlays for somebody as a tutorial and send it to them after the tutorial is complete. After I do that, I will do it anyway. All right, as you guys can see, I'm sitting here on my home screen. The first thing I want you guys to do is go to the internet and go to apk. Uh, apkhere.com. I meant to say apk. apkhere.com. Once you guys type in apkhere.com, you guys will be greeted with this home menu slash area. I want you guys to type in PS and put a space and put touch T O U C H. So once you guys type in PS touch, it will be the second app down that you guys will need to download. So I advise you guys to download that one. Once you guys click on the second app, sometimes it'll make you verify that you're not a robot. Once you guys started downloading things from there, you guys will be able to download everything. So once you guys click on that. You guys will be able to click on the home screen. Uh, you guys won't be able to download it at first until you guys go to your settings. Some devices won't allow you to do that. Click on security. Click on unknown sources. Once you guys click on unknown sources, you guys will be able to download Photoshop Touch. That is Photoshop for the phone slash tablet everything that you could download it on you guys can get it on iPhone I will be doing the iPhone tutorial later and show you guys how to do different things on the iPhone because there is a lot different things that you'll have to do on the iPhone than the Android devices so I apologize for the Android I mean for the uh, iPhone users I know most of you have had a Android phone or device before um, so before you guys click on Photoshop touch I want you guys to go to the Google Play Store and type in Fonto. I'll be leaving a link to two of the apps that I'll be using for this video. My bad, I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, click on Fonto. P H O N T O is the way you spell it. Once you guys click on Fonto, you guys need to click on install. Once you guys install this, you guys will be able to start making your thumbnails. Um, these are the two apps that you guys will need. You don't need Pixel Lab. That's for later tutorial usage. Uh, it's not easy to use Pixel Lab either, so that's why I say it's for later tutorial usage. But if you guys want to, you guys will be able to start working on your thumbnails. Once my Photoshop loads up, I will meet you guys on there. As you guys can see, my Photoshop Touch has opened up and everything and loaded up. It doesn't take a while for it to load up, but you know I had to change the screen resolution so it could be turned into horizontal and stuff like that without it being looking all weird and stuff during the video. But as you guys can see, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and click on the plus symbol. You guys won't have any thumbnails and stuff made and banners and all that made. That's my stuff that I made before that I will delete off of here later. But I just didn't have the time and feel like doing it at the time. But if you guys want to start get ready to make your own thumbnail, I advise you guys to take a screenshot of you playing Fortnite and send it to one of your friends on the game and save it on your device so you guys can use that as the background which I will be doing right now I had one of my friends who was actually playing the game with me earlier send me a screenshot uh, so I can do that so click on the plus symbol right here and it will say width at 1280 and height by 736 no that's not it you leave your width at 1280 and change the height to 720 because that's the normal screen resolution for thumbnails for YouTube I will be doing a banner tutorial later if you guys want me to this is the video on the thumbnails because a lot of people have been asking me all right you guys will be greeted with this blank screen so I advise you guys to click on the plus right here click on the photo layer and go to the PS message thing and find the background that you guys want to use 
For this tutorial, I'll be using the very first background thing that I have right here. Click on the check mark right here, and you guys will be greeted with that. The first thing I want you guys to do after you do that is click on the plus symbol, click on empty layer, or you could have just move this empty layer above it. It don't matter at all. Click on empty layer, and this will be the second layer that you guys will have to do. And I advise you guys to click on the wand tool that will be at the top of your screen. Click on this square on the t very top. Click on this right here. Slide this all the way across. Like right now, maybe I want it right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a perfect spot. Click on the and symbol. Click on fill in stroke. And make sure it's on the second layer right there. Once you guys do that, click on the screen. Do that to all your sides. And after you do it to every side like I'm doing right now, you guys will be able to do what I usually do in my videos to make it look sexy as shit. I did not mean to click on that. I meant to click on the and symbol, click on fill. Alright, once you guys do that, I will be clicking on this, clicking on that. If you guys want me to release a GFX packs for the PS Touch users, no, you cannot download any pack out there. Photoshop Touch and Photoshop are two different PSD files that you guys have to download. So as you guys can see, my stuff is done. I'm going to zoom in real quick. If you guys want to zoom in, just use your two of your fingers to zoom in and out on it. And click on the two squares at the bottom of the screen that are stacked on top of each other. And click on the normal thing and click on overlay. Once you guys click on overlay, you guys will be almost straight. But I advise you guys to click on the FX symbol and click on glow. Once you guys click on glow, click on the black one. It might not look right for right now. Click on it one more time. Click on the FX again. Click on glow. Once you guys click on glow, the screen will look like that. It looked all popped out. But I advise you guys to go on, go on to the very first layer. Click on Gaussian blur. Put it up to like maybe... I usually do it to 11 or 20 it depends on what I want the thumbnail to look like but if you guys want to make it a lot thicker the glow you guys could do it again you guys can do it as many times I usually just click on the screen leave it at normal so I won't do too much or do too less so it'll be the exact same click on photo layer and if you guys do not have any renders I'll be leaving releasing a GFX pack out for you guys to download with all these renders right here that I have made myself that I cut out myself I'll be using maybe let me see which character do I want to use for this tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and use the Raptor so if you guys end up having an image that you download off the internet like I did for this guy because I didn't have Raptor at the time until recently I bought him so as you guys can see I'm gonna zoom him in put him on the screen like right here He's right there on the spot where he's supposed to be. I advise you guys to click on the square tool at the top left of your screen practically. Click on the wand. Click on the white part of the screen. Click on cut. As you guys can see, all the white part right there on the upper parts are going. So I advise you guys click on the white part at the very bottom of the screen as well to remove them as well. So you guys can do as many edits to your image as possible. My preference, I usually go after I cut it out and click on FX and add glow to their name. I forgot to click off the screen, but sometimes you have to click off the screen because the wand tool will be selected on a part that you already cut still. So click on glow. Once you guys click on glow, I advise you guys to make the intensity uh, all the way to 100 and click the blur. Make it a little bit blurry. Not, not blurry, but yeah, make it bigger. But click on glow again. Click on glow. Once you guys click on glow, the first thing uh, you need to move is the person itself. So I'm going to zoom in real quick so I can uh, move him exactly right on the right spot. As you guys can see, I moved this behind. So as you, as you can see, my stuff isn't exactly on the right spot. I advise you guys to go to the eraser tool. Click on this start going across the screen right here all right as you guys can see I went ahead and deleted all this unnecessary parts already racing this black part which you didn't need anyway to be on the screen 
all right as you guys can see I'm deleting this as well making sure everything right here is going and you guys will be greeted with this blank image as you guys can see this th this already thumbnail looking low-key sexy this is gonna be the thumbnail for the video I'm not even going any try I'm not doing all the unnecessary edits at all either but I advise you guys to save the project since I already have like the flames and everything downloaded on my device I usually go to one of my projects that I already used it on and pull it out to use it on another project this is the thumbnail that I already made before this is the final project just to let you guys know this is how it will look like at the very end comment down below if you guys want me to uh, do an in-depth tutorial on how to make banners but if you guys want me to make you guys banners just help this video hit the 20 likes and I'll be making two banners for people and uh, I do charge a dollar if you guys want to get a banner right now so y'all channels could look sexy as hell I do go try hard on my banners and whenever I'm doing thumbnails for a video I go try hard as well like this this Loki looks sexy though I'm not finna stunt this is the final project but I'm gonna just go ahead and copy this real quick copy let me go click on do not save real quick go back to my image right here click on my project click on uh, click on the pencil tool at the top and click on paste once you guys click on paste you guys are able to do this and click on video overlay it doesn't matter video overlay turn it down turn it down turn it down zoom this down put that above the actual picture itself since the picture since you guys want to be able to see the flames itself on your screen and what you guys need to do is exit out of Photoshop right here save the project first before you exit out so you won't have to start over and I will meet you guys on once you guys open up Fonto you guys will be greeted with a screen like this but yours will be blank just click on the screen and use the black image I advise you guys to use this but since I already have my text downloaded and these are the two fonts that I use for the video I use low brush and I use barbarian big Cassidian bold which are the two thumb I mean two things I will be leaving you guys links to download it's from defont.com it's not hard to get it and download it uh, I'll be leaving a link to them as well so once you guys do that and save the image from here the only thing you guys got I advise you guys to do is move the image around like click on the text right here click on move click to move it to the middle and to the very middle of the goddamn project so you guys will be able to move around and things like that so click on the save tool at the very top just like this it'll say processing and once it is saved you guys will be strapped but since I already have both of my text already saved in another project I'll be showing you guys on how to put it on your screen without the black around it all right once you guys click on the home button just load back up Photoshop touch and so once my Photoshop touch loads back up I'll be what I'll be showing you guys how to do that as you guys get as you guys can see we are back on Photoshop touch I apologize if I'm speaking a little bit too fast and doing this tutorial too fast it's just that I'm trying to get it done as fast as possible so y'all won't be looking at a long ass video like this um, what you guys need to do is find fo Fonto Fonto will actually leave you a uh, di directory where it will come out at I want you guys to click on the image right here put it on the screen I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger it don't matter right now since it's, I'm not gonna use this text right here I want you guys to click on the eraser since you guys used the eraser earlier and put it back on the wand click on the screen right here click on the pencil then click on cut once you guys click on cut you guys will be able to click on the insides of the image and cut it out like I'm doing right here alright as you guys can see I am complete with cutting out the text if the text is a little bit too small the only thing you gotta do is click on the little little area at the top let me click off the screen real quick click up there make it bigger I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller because that's a little bit too big I want it to be like maybe right here but since I already did this you guys could do the exact same thing I'm about to show you click on the text right here but first matter of fact yeah what you guys will want to do first is uh, click on FX 
and put on glow so your text can be like have a black background it doesn't matter what the thing is right here don't set the color on fonto like I said before click on gradient and change the text to the same gradient like all of them to the same gradient you guys are able to do that if you guys want to if you want your text to have the little colorway text like I'm doing right now you guys can do the exact same thing but since I already had the text I'm gonna go ahead and delete this right here go back to my other project right here save this real quick and copy the text right here let me copy the text to, and everything all right as you guys can see I'm gonna go over here click on the pencil copy the text go back over here click on the image itself and click on the pencil and click on paste once you guys click on paste you guys will be straight to have the tutorial right there at the bottom of the screen and I'm about to go back and save it for my other text if you guys have more than one text I advise you guys to do the gradient or something on a similar basis because that makes it look sexy as hell let me go back and copy the other text as well click on copy click on the back do not save click on the photo itself click on paste and uh, this is what your project will look like so far if you guys want to do more effects to the thing you guys can but this is what I'm gonna show you guys for the tutorial and I'll keep my secrets to myself like this is something simple that I taught myself how to do um, when I very first started making thumbnails and stuff like I know I don't go like deep 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 hardcore into making thumbnails I make my banners and everything and if you guys are looking for the banners and thumbnails, just hit me up on PSN as they hit them up. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys are brand new. And I'll be leaving a link to the app itself and the thumbnails that I use for this tutorial and the image that I use for this tutorial. Might as well say fuck it. Or you guys can just look up Fortnite characters and stuff and download them and do the cutout like I did before. If you guys fuck with this video, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe if y'all brand new like I said before and uh, just comment down below.